Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have something I wasn't going to really make a whole video on, it's just kind of something I've been replying to you guys in the comments section when you ask. But it's a really good question and it's something that you think has an obvious answer but it doesn't really, if that makes sense. And that is how often should you be washing your hair? And by washing we're talking about using shampoo to clean your hair. Now I didn't actually know until about a year ago, you guys know I use a lot of product in my hair. Um, I'll wash my hair, I'll use a pre-styling product, blow dry that through, then use a styling product. So I used to wash my hair every single day to try and get all this product out. But little did I know that wasn't the best thing to do. Let's talk about when you should wash your hair, how many times you should wash your hair. And also I'm going to tell you a few little tips as well um, to keep you going and keep your hair feeling fresh during those times that you're not washing your hair. Just like skin types, we all kind of have different hair types. But as a general rule of thumb, the more you wash your hair with shampoo, the more sebum your scalp creates. Which we all know by now from other videos, sebum is like a natural oil. Obviously, the more you're shampooing your hair, the more sebum your scalp's creating, which then makes you want to wash it more because it looks greasy and you just keep washing it and washing it and washing it. However, on the other hand, the more you wash it, the sebaceous gland can just stop producing sebum altogether. And this is what leaves you with a dry and flaky scalp, which may lead you to start using uh, anti-dandruff shampoos, even though that's not really combating the situation. Basically, you can't win either way if you're washing your hair every day. So cutting down the amount of times a week that you're washing your hair with shampoo is gonna give your scalp the chance to start producing this sebum and natural oils at a more natural rate. So really, you should be washing your hair with shampoo twice a week. And on the other days, you can just rinse it with hot water. Now, like I said, your hair may still be producing a lot of sebum, so it's gonna look a little bit greasy. But over time, the natural oils are gonna balance out and they'll be producing oil at a natural rate, so your hair won't look as greasy the less times you wash it. Yeah, yeah. So if you're like me, um, I liked washing my hair every day, but it's not good for you, it's not good for your scalp. So here are a few tips to kind of make your hair look washed, feel fresh and look clean during those in-between kind of days. The big one, and I think most obvious one, is using a dry shampoo. This has become so popular within the last few years, but I feel like guys haven't really taken to it. When you think of dry shampoo, you think of the girls getting it out and putting it all in their roots and massaging it in. They've got the right idea. Dry shampoo is pretty much a powder that you spray in your greasy hair and rub it or brush it through. And this is gonna absorb all the grease and all the dirt, um, which you can then brush out. But what it's not gonna do is strip your hair of the natural oils and sebum, so it's not gonna irritate your scalp. It's gonna let your hair and scalp get on with whatever it's doing naturally. So it's perfect for if you're feeling a little bit greasy between washes, if you go to the gym very often and you don't want to wash your hair for the third time that day or if you're going out after work and your hair needs a bit of a freshen up as well. The next product we're going to talk about is a texturizing spray. It's going to take a while for your scalp to start producing oils at a natural rate if you're like me and you wash your hair very very often. And during this time your hair might be a little bit heavy, a little bit dirty. We're not talking filth, we're just talking natural grease. And I don't know about you guys but with that it means my hair's a little bit heavier. Um, it hasn't got that matte texture to it that it does if you wash it and dry it every day. You're gonna find it difficult to create that volume for all the styles that we love, like the quiff, the pompadour, anything that you need that little bit of a raise at the front or throughout. So starting off with your dry shampoo, putting that all through, rubbing it in, brushing it out, I then go in with a brunette texturizing volume spray. Obviously my hair is dark, so I don't want white bits showing up in it. And spraying in at the roots and putting this through, it gives you that natural textured matte volume that I used to have when I wash and blow dry my hair every day. This is basically a quiff in a can. <laughs> it's really, really good at just producing that maximum volume. I saw an article the other day about a woman who uh, didn't wash her hair for two years and instead of using shampoo, she used baking powder, which is pretty much a dry shampoo. And the first thing I thought about it before I looked into it, before I researched into it and I asked my hairstylist friends about it was, her hair must stink, like it must really, really smell. Obviously it doesn't, it's not like she's not caring for her hair at all. But you know, your hair isn't gonna smell as fragrant as it did before if you wash it every day or you're applying new product in it every day. It can kind of have like that bed head kind of smell. One of my recent favorite products is this Label Men Cologne Hair and Body. Um, I like this for my hair. I love the smell of Label Men products. Um, so this is just gonna make your hair smell fresh. You know, occasionally you'll get a whiff of your hair as well if it's windy and you use a really nice product. 
Um, this is the same thing. So once my hair's all styled, all done, I just hold it a little bit away from my hair and spray a few sprays in. And then on my neck as well, this is for hair and body. It's really, really good at just giving it that fresh scent. For those of you who are really going to struggle with the idea of only shampooing your hair twice a week and just rinsing the other days, there are a couple of things you can do. Simply massaging with warm water, giving your scalp and your hair quite a long massage, about 5-10 minutes, is going to rid of all that unnatural grease and dirt in your hair. But if you do want to feel a little bit cleaner, then conditioner is the way to go. Now we're not talking about squeezing all that conditioner in and then running it through like you would do on a normal shampoo and condition day. You just want to take the tiniest amount and start massaging that into your hair. And what conditioner is great for is getting rid of all the unnatural nasty bits and keeping in all the natural oils. So you're not going to ruin that natural balance, which is what we're ultimately after here. Now when it is finally shampoo day, so two days out of the week, you want to make sure you're using a decent shampoo. This is one or two washes that your hair is going to get a week, so you want to be using the right stuff. Because we're not using shampoo that often, I would recommend splashing out a little bit more on your shampoo. My personal favourite is this oil shampoo by Davines. This prevents hair ageing, it's got really strong antioxidants in it as well. I'm really good at giving it that natural softness and shine and volume as well, that thickness that you want. And this is because it contains Ruku oil, I think it's pronounced. So I'll take a tiny, tiny amount of this. As you can see, I've been using it for a few months now and it's pretty much all gone. Then I'll massage that into my hair. Again, as I keep saying, we're not shampooing that often, so really make some time for this. Spend a good couple of minutes massaging and rubbing this into your scalp and then rinse it out. However, if you are on a bit of a budget, then Fudge Cool Mint Purifying Shampoo is the one to go for. Minty products always give me that boost of energy I need in the morning. They feel really purifying as well. Like the oil shampoo, this also helps prevent aging of your hair, hair loss, and will help a dry scalp as well. This also has a lot of protection in it for heat damage, um, UV damage as well, and general environmental damage. So this is a really good all-rounder, and I think this is seven quid, and you get so much in here as well. Um, I've also got the conditioner. So yeah, highly recommend this one. So to round this up, we're gonna wash our hair twice a week. And by wash our hair, I mean we're going to use a shampoo, and on one of those days we're going to condition as well. The rest of the days you just want to rinse your hair with warm water, using products like dry shampoos, texturizing sprays, to give your hair that natural dry matte look and textured look that a lot of us like. If you really can't handle waiting that long, use a tiniest bit of conditioner and massage that into your hair. Keep this going for a couple of weeks. You might have to put up with a little bit of greasiness for a while, but overall, the result at the end, you're gonna be so much more happier with. I used to have a very dry, itchy scalp. I used to use anti-dandruff shampoo, um, and it wasn't really helping. It was a temporary fix, but in the long run, it wasn't helping anything. Now I switched up my hair washing habits. My scalp is a lot less itchy, a lot less flaky. My hair is naturally less greasy as well. So I hope that's answered the question. Um, I think it has. And guys, keep asking questions, keep requesting videos, it's really helpful for me. Um, it lets me know what people are actually thinking and what they actually want to know. Thumbs up, comment, the usual, you're all good at that anyway. Um, I'll see you next time.